Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about what is called winter sewing. It's kind of like making a little greenhouse um, to sow some seeds. And by sow some seeds, I mean S-O-W, which means we're going to plant some seeds in some soil. First thing that you're going to need is a milk jug or a two liter bottle or anything that light can get through it um, so that it keeps the inside of your jug warm. We do not need the lid, so we are going to take the lid off and throw it away. And what's most important is, is that we put drain holes in the bottom and several on the side. There are several ways that you can do this. You can use a knife to cut some holes you can use a drill with a drill bit and cut some holes. What I found works best for me is I use a hot glue gun and I drill some or put holes in it with the hot glue gun. So I'm going to grab that glue gun over here and we've got a hot glue gun. We're not going to use the glue. We're just going to use this hot tip. So we're going to put it at the bottom and push and it will make a hole in the plastic just like that. You want to put five or six at the bottom, just push and make a hole. You can do this with a two liter bottle because they're plastic. You're not going to use glass containers for these. We're just going to use plastic ones. I'm going to recycle our jugs here. You can use an apple juice container. All right, almost done with those drain holes. So we've got five drain holes at the bottom, and we're going to put four or five drain holes on the side, just like this. What that does is it stops your roots. Once your roots start to grow from drowning, if they're sitting in water, and this lets the extra water drain out. Okay, we've got our holes in there. I'll put my glue gun away. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut around the outside of our milk jug. We're not going to cut all the way around. We want to leave a little bit of a flap, and I'll show you why. So, I'm just going to poke in with my scissors, be careful. It's the hard part, getting it to go in there and get started. There we go. And I'm going to just cut all the way around. If you want to draw a line before you cut, you can do that and cut along the line. Remember, we're not going to cut all the way around. We're going to leave a little bit of a flap. And so we have a way to open it up, just like this. So we have our milk jug. We have our drain holes. We have the lid taken off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of soil in. Here I have potting soil. You can get just regular dirt out of your yard. Ask a neighbor if you can get some dirt out of there. So if you live in an apartment and you don't have access to dirt. So I'm going to pour, put some in here. Just like this. You want three or four inches of soil at the bottom. That gives time, room for the roots to grow. And it insulates the bottom of your little greenhouse from the cold ground. Okay, that's about enough dirt or soil or potting mix. We're going to add some water. We want to get this moist. Just mix it with your fingers. Gardening is hands on. So if your hands get wet and dirty, that's okay. They'll wash. If it's too wet, it's okay. It'll drain out the bottom. You want to add a little more soil you certainly can do that 
if you feel like it's too wet. Add just a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my seeds. Now you can use uh, flower seeds, you can use bean seeds, you can put pea seeds in here. Um, any kind of seeds will work for winter sowing. Okay, let me get some of this off. I have some poppy seeds that I'm going to put in here. And I'm just going to take some poppy seeds and just I'm going to sprinkle them over the top of the soil. Okay, that's about enough. And I'm going to take just a little bit of soil and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top of the seeds. Since they're so small, they're hard to poke in. If you use peas or beans, you can just poke them in about a quarter of an inch, not more than that, and then cover them with some soil. So we have our seeds, we have our soil, and now we need to close up our little greenhouse. And what we're going to use is just duct tape. You can use clear tape if you want. And we're going to completely close up and get my tape going here. Our cut edge here. So cut off a little bit, get it started. We're going to close it up like this, just like that. And we're not going to open it again until the days get a little bit warmer and you peek in the top and you can see that you've got stuff coming up. Now it may take two or three weeks for things to come up because what this is doing is waiting for nature to be ready. show you this other side here just a second okay we have it all sealed up and then one little spot here and you do that what this is doing is it's keeping the moisture in the jug the sun will keep the inside of this jug warm and as the days get warmer your seeds will germinate Important thing to do if you're going to do more than one is to label your jugs so you know what they are. So I'm just going to label it Poppy. I'm going to put the date. What is the date today? Four, five, twenty. I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to put it just. Uh, like a south facing part of your house leave it outside every few days you want to check and see if the top of your soil looks dry if it does use a squirt bottle to sprinkle to some water in there tomorrow when we check this we'll check for condensation on the top of the milk jug we're gonna go outside and I'll show you that I have a whole row of uh, winter sowed jugs that I started about a week ago. Okay, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of jugs that are winter sowed. Please ignore the gardening mess. <laughs> and we're gonna add this poppy jug to it. And you just leave them outside. It won't hurt if it gets cold at night. It won't hurt if it gets too hot during the day. Just check on them, make sure that they are the top of the dirt is moist and you'll be good to go. Okay, now all we need is patience to wait for those jugs to sprout their seeds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss another video.